A question that I get asked repeatedly is how to achieve professional looking felt, felt that is well finished and will stand the test of time. And I believe it is very important that you understand if you are new to wet felting, it is a craft like any other. With practice and experience, you will improve. But don't try to run before you can walk. Try and practice the basics. And then when you're happy that you are achieving, for example, a nice piece of flat felt, such as a felt scarf or a small wall hanging. When you are happy with the finish of those pieces, then move on to something more complicated. So at the very beginning, you need to practice laying out your fiber. And the best way of doing this, in my experience, is not to fuss too much as you're laying it down. It's to take your time and draft fine, even pieces of fiber, lay them on your layout, but don't start titivating and moving them around. Try and get into a rhythm. If you like music, you may find that having music on with a very definite beat as you are doing this helps and you can try and lay the fiber out in time to the beat. Personally, I like working without music unless I'm working on a very big project. And actually, I find country and Western music really great if I'm laying out larger projects. So that would be what I listen to when I'm laying out big projects. And as I get into a rhythm and I'm subconsciously laying the fiber out in time to the beat, it becomes easier to have even layers of fiber. It may be helpful to weigh your fiber once you have a little more experience. If you want to have the same quantity of fiber in each layer, for example, with a wall hanging, if you know how heavy you want the final piece to be and what the size, you know, your layout is based maybe on a previous project. Maths isn't my forte, but if I have a previous project I'm happy with, I might weigh that when it is dry. And I will say to myself, I would like this a little bit lighter next time, but the same size of layout. So I will just work out how many layers of fiber I'm using. It could be three layers of fiber or two. And then I will just divide my ultimate aim of the weight of the piece with the three layers. I will split my fiber up so that I know each layer has an even layer of fiber. And that just means that there won't be more shrinkage in one place than the other. And so it therefore means that I'm more likely to have an even piece of fabric at the end. And there are ways that you can lay out your fiber around the outside edge so that it becomes more even. And if you're working on large pieces, you can have stabilizing lines that will help keep everything together. And that's something that I learned from master German felt maker, Dagmar Binder. But at the beginning, the important thing is to try and keep your pieces even at the edges. Don't titivate the fiber too much. Just lay it down and get used to working in a rhythm. Take your time when you start the felting process and don't be afraid as the fibers are coming together to actually do some work on the felt as it's shrinking without the bubble wrap on top. With very soapy hands, you can put them down on the, the fiber, the, the shrinking felt, and you can just rub back and forwards gently. And if you find that your edges are a little bit uneven, you can spot work an edge and you can just do more moving in an inwards direction if you have a big piece that's sticking out a little bit. Um, but these are things that start to come together for you physically with your body and mentally. You will understand once you have done a few pieces and felt it successfully um, or not successfully because we learn from our mistakes. You will understand how rubbing in different ways and directions will affect how the fiber shrinks. So shrinkage occurs with uh, a couple of different things. The layout of your fiber affects the shrinkage. And that's why we would be laying some fibers vertically and some horizontally so that there's even shrinkage. 
but also how we rub it. So if you want it to shrink more in one direction, you can rub and roll more in that direction. But just take your time, learn how the fiber feels underneath the tips of your fingers, start the felting process slowly. If you discover that it, your felt is a little bit misshapen, you can work individual areas um, with your hands or against the bubble wrap. And then if you're not sure if your felt has shrunk enough, I would say work it further. If you're asking that question, it's not finished enough. It should be very firm. And when you pull it, it's not going to be um, stretching. So laying more fine layers of fiber rather than fewer thick layers helps achieve good quality felt. Stretching and then shrinking, stretching and shrinking near the end of the process helps achieve better quality felt. And then I like to finish my felt in either linen or cotton fabric, such as a tea towel, if it's a small piece or maybe just a piece of linen fabric. So once I have removed the soap from my felt at the very end and it's got no soap remaining in it, I wipe off my felting table. I'll put a linen tea towel down. I'll put my felt on top. I roll it um, up and then I can get a nice smooth finish on my felt. So I hope those tips will help you, but nothing will beat experience. Do not be hard on yourself. Uh, enjoy the process, learn from experience and all will be well.